37 Chev is getting pretty close to being finished here and I thought now that the uh, major mechanical issues are sorted out and it's kind of behaving itself quite well actually uh, I thought maybe it would be fun to do some of the finishing touches so uh, time for some dessert after the hard work and for that we have and I put it down and can't find it this is the actual hood ornament for these cars. Look at that. So we're going to get that guy mounted up and the running board uh, covers there. I'll, uh, we'll have a look at those and we'll see what's involved in putting new ones on. Because we are shooting photos for our calendar today and uh, James has gone for lunch and I said that I would have them on when he got back. So let's hope that that happens. So here we can see the original ones and uh, you know, I'm going to save them, but they're, uh, they're not really adding to the appearance of the car. And uh, since the car is going to be inside and out of the weather, I don't really feel bad if we replace these. And uh, the new ones are apparently a, uh, an exact match, so we'll see how that goes. Other than the tires, these were uh, probably the most expensive single part or parts that I bought but I think really when the rest of the car is just so nice and clean these are really the only thing that detracts so I'm really the uh, pretty been looking forward to putting these on for a while so the first thing I want to do is figure out how these come off and it looks like there's just tabs twisted over underneath you can see them there and they're just either bent or twisted 90 degrees underneath so uh, there is a lot of them so we're going to get under there and pull all those off and then I'm going to clean and really try to clean the running board up the best I can. Don't really want any of that kind of debris trapped under the new ones. So here's an opportunity to really dress the car up and should go pretty smoothly. But we've all heard that before. Okay, that wasn't too bad. There we have it. A bunch of little tabs that they're all just giving a little twist. So pretty easy to get them back off again. And the metal part's in good shape. Okay, now we gotta get this cleaned up. That's a mess. Look at that though, eh? Just in beautiful condition underneath. The other running board has had some repairs and stuff, but nothing too serious, so I'm not going to try and fix it. Uh, we're not restoring the car, just trying to clean it up. This is just soapy water. How's it going? Yes. Hi there. I see you. What's going on? That's pretty cool how good all that is underneath. Okay. Pretty close. And I see that the little tabs are left up to you. Presumably these are designed to fit on reproduction smooth running boards, I guess. But uh, it looks like the tabs are there, so we're going to see if we can get that going. Just throw it up here for a second, make sure it's in the neighborhood. I think they're pretty close. They're not exact. But, I suspect they still look better than this. But, that does confirm my decision to definitely hold on to the old ones. Which, uh, have, they're actually ribbed on the bottom. And this is smooth. And the original ones kind of curl down at the outside. So that is not included. I'm just going to put them in the brake. And very gently curve this edge down at right about there. Second, 
Okay. Be right back. Okay, got the driver's side on and didn't go too badly. I had to go put a little curl in it so that it would fit on there. Uh, the tabs lined up. Would I buy them again? I, I honestly don't know. Are they better than nothing? Absolutely. Are they exact match to the original? No, I mean, I don't know. What, what does a guy get to expect? Are you allowed to expect? that they would be exact. Normally I would say no, but I mean these were not cheap. You know, if I, if I had paid 150 bucks a side, I'd be, I'd be pretty happy. But I paid probably four times that. So, um, I mean, like for example the tires, I mean those are perfect and so I don't begrudge the cost but these it's not a concourse car I'm just gonna literally just take a razor blade and just trim this till we can get away with it but are they I can't see any situation where these are worth what they're charging for them and nothing against the company I bought all this stuff from they have been excellent everything showed up everything was and Almost everything else was very reasonably priced. These were very expensive and they're very average. Anybody's ever restored Volkswagens and you bought those uh, running boards that they sell for Beatles? These are kind of, that's the league we're in here. But those things are like 39 bucks. So, anyhow, I really wanted to give these a five star review and I'm just not gonna. I mean, I'm just not. And so I think that these could be recovered actually. I think because the ribbing is all in the steel on these and here this is just like a mold that has been laid on top of flat steel so if you wanted it to be accurate you would get some very thin rubber and glue it onto this steel after you uh, stripped it all and painted it and I think you would actually have if you were trying to do a really concourse job that's what I would do so I will save these in case that should ever come up Probably won't, but that's why we're saving them. Hey Dino, what's up buddy? Hey, you made it. How's it going? Good, how are you man? Oh good. Oh, you could cheek your hand for your yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good man. I sorry yesterday was a little bit of a gong show, but oh, yeah. I'm glad you made it out. Yeah. That's kinda cool. Yeah, oh, the final awesome. touch? Look at that, the final goddess is going on. Yeah. Bucks. I paid 200 bucks and I gave my buddy like a case of beer and a couple hundred bucks to bring it from Manitoba to here. And I drove it so around. It came from yeah, and, and then, then went, went, went back to Manitoba. Yeah. yeah, go figure, right? What does that say about everybody? I involved. have more questions than answers. I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is a real bitch to get to, eh? This little goddess. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. yeah, no one's just going to reach under the hood and just yeah. whistle this out. Oh, well. We got to lift up this hood. Okay, let's do it. Butterfly still. Lift it out, straight up, slide it slide. back. That's it. You get it behind the grill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Behind. It's behind already. Yeah. 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 Now lower it down into the holes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's better than taking the whole fucking hood off. Oh, you guys going to a photo shoot down the road? Yeah, we're just gonna go find somewhere that's okay. yeah, everything's fine. Looks great. So. Okay, let me put the screws back in. Smaller day. Thank you so much. That's from Phil Zero, who has sent us an unreasonably generous number of things before. The finishing touch on the 37. Did you see I put the running boards on, Dean? Oh, wow. <laughs> Got me excited. 
That's my job. Yeah, whoa! I guess oh. I walked all over and left white moth now. Yeah, that's okay. My car's dirty too, but this is a really nice, man. That, that's a, wow, that's so much better. Looks a little better, eh? Does that ever? Yes. That looks nice, man. Good job. What do you think, Frankers? I think I want to lick Uncle Dean to death. <laughs> oh, the yeah, I did a little cool. couple of paint dabs on the front just temporarily to clean it up for pictures, so. There, well that's uh that's calendar time I'd say, James. That is one calendar. sort of almost finished car, it's yeah. Like Jason, yeah. Calendar, calendar time. Calendar, calendar time. time that's our other calendar princess there. Oh, oh. she's got some issues right now. It does not. Porn issues. Actually, the, it did, the you know, Ferrari hood is up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to come here like looking like I knew something about cars for a second. So, yeah, well I I see what's going on here, you know. <laughs> so you didn't just take the relay apart and sand the points, eh? That's all has to be done. I yeah. it just did, you know, just did, today the horn just stopped working today, and that yeah. kind of, you heard it a little bit there, like the yeah, honk. I heard it working fine just, when you got here. Just a bad ground. Yeah, something. No, it's going just on. the points in the in the relay. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, That's a, my solution. <laughs> the tires <laughs> flat. Ground. It's a bad ground. ground. It's turning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tires flat. The car's on fire. Bad ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I crashed into that guy. Bad ground. <laughs> you stay sober long enough to drive around the subdivision. Yeah, I better guess. To, but he's, what Dean's saying is we better do it quick. Yeah. <laughs> you said you bought beer, come on. <laughs> I did. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah, good. Well, that's good. Thanks, well, so. Uh, let's go for a rip then. No, oh, man. This can go to Manitoba if you want it, probably. Oh, yeah. Well, it would. I have no doubt that it would, but I'm not, you can't go 65 miles an hour with this car. It just won't do it. But what, she, what yeah, will she do? 45, 50, maybe? Well, it'll do 55. Okay, let's go. But, 55 is a lot less than 65. Like 55, you shouldn't be on the highway. Oh, yeah. okay. Because you're a menace. You're a menace, yeah. I mean, 55 on a Sunday morning, you can sure. get away with it. Get away with it, yeah. You know, yeah. Day -to -day well, these guys can pass you and stuff, right? Like, that was cool, Jeep. Yeah. yeah. Frankers out. Frankers is out the window, Dean's out the window. Yeah. Everyone's He's having a good to, time. He's out to lunch. What radio station are we listening to there? Oh, there is a radio. The only 100. good one. <laughs> the only one that's turned off. <laughs> yeah, we don't listen to radio as much. Uh, well, we'll just go lefty here, go past. Lefty Lucy. Hang on Larry over here. Hang on Larry, a Leonard. Oh yeah, that's right, those signal lights, I forgot, oh, and signals over here. Yeah. You're forgetting my, that. My right? hand was just getting hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sunburn <and left> <laughs> That's right, yeah, yeah. Is this, yeah. Is this Bob's place? Yeah. yeah. Got the appropriate Ford today. I did. Nice. We just pulled the motor out of this, put it in. <laughs> Actually, put my other motor in this. It would be it would be slightly more fair. Cut that with a sawzall. It took forever. Let's put it against the studio. Yeah. So, in the capable hands of the captain and the uh, other Ford and alumni. And the other captain. There's two captains I'll be today. Tenille. There's uh, some valves around. Number 16 was burnt. That's the one I just threw it in there. Okay. I just left number 16 in its hole so you'd know which was which. That's it. That's all there is to know, yeah? Easy. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, have fun. Okay, you guys enjoy your lunch. Yeah, we shall.
Did you? Yeah, we should put them in the fridge at the very least. Do you want a deck of block? Yeah, well, we start with, we're going to start with 80 okay. and maybe okay. surface finish with what, 150? 150? Okay. Yeah. Well, it's like Cosworth does it. It's so exactly like they do at the factory. Couldn't agree. Couldn't agree more. So are we just... Oh, oh look, look at that. that. Look at it come alive. Yeah. That's exactly how it would have been done. How are we going to measure to know how much to take? Oh, when your arm gets sore uh, and then we're done. Yeah, I think that's the measurement technique. Kind of go time, isn't it? Yeah. It's a beautiful day. Never thought I'd say it. It's almost too hot to be working on this, but yeah, it is warm. Okay, good. Here's the update. Why does it seem so tight? Because it's clean? Because it's seized. I'm getting a uh, <laughs> dirty one. This one sure got thin in that pit. Oh yeah, that's the one. Do you think this thing is going to run by tonight? Yeah, I kind of don't think so. Either. Why? You think? Why? Well, you got all the gaskets going on. You got head gaskets? Yeah. The gaskets are getting. Should we have another beer? I don't know. Go out to the leg. Dude. For sure, this thing's not going to run. What? Jesus. <laughs> I want to put a valve. I want to put one retainer on. Okay, no, you'll see. No, Here, one, I'll show you. One Scott built. Oh, it it's works. just classic. It's just awesome. Where's your feeler gauge? Huh? He has them somewhere. Yeah. Do you know where? No. No. You guys had them over here before. One, for Christ's sakes. How's it going? Oh, look at that. You got the block all sanded down. Well, That's looking good. Yeah, it looks nice, right? Well, I guess. For what there, it is, eh? that magnet. Thank you. Well, it, it looks like you got enough room there. I yeah, mean, it's no, kind of no. shitty, but they're not as bad as I thought they might be. I'm just happy that our little valve thing is working. Oh, fuck. That because otherwise, be. you got a guy standing here with a pry bar the whole no, time. No, can you imagine? Gonna, no, you couldn't it, do it. It wouldn't, it literally wouldn't happen. Okay. Easy enough. Oh, it'll get done. I'm going to tackle the Oof. not slightly dirty at all carburetor. Jim gave me some helpful holly tips last night. Oh, did he? Yeah, he came by. Oh, cool. So, we'll see how it goes. This car is surprisingly raunchy. It's not a very good example of a 51 Ford, I'm afraid. Jacket, you made it. Yikes, that's not great. Oh, here's the parts Jim was talking about, these little bridges here. He said, that's got to be perfect. Yeah, this might take a few minutes. You guys will probably have those done before this is even closed. Is it pretty gross in there? Uh, well, oh, what's your thoughts on that? It's not awesome. This thing is filthy. We're not missing something here. No, I don't think so. I mean... Are we showing the crew what a couple thou is? You ready? Calling it. Sounds like nine strikes there. Calling it. Give her a little bevel. Is that the proper grid stone for that, actually? Yes, it is. Of course perfect. it is. Of course. Perfect. <laughs> What, what are we, number are we on now? 12? 13? Uh, oh number. my god, look at that. Yeah, we're getting close. Three to go. I only had to cut probably 60% of them, 70%. Mm -hmm. But that's to be expected. Yeah, a lot of the exhaust valves were pretty crusty and I had to cut them back quite a bit. You can certainly tell that the guides should come out to do this easier. Oh yeah. This, this is, is not, not the thing. easy way to go about putting valve. No keepers back in but they are going oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. we've got a system it's just yeah. it's just a little slower than slow yeah. so you've already uh cleaned all the cylinders out and yep yeah we're ready okay to put so we're literally the putting the heads on as soon as this is in yeah. oh look at ash plugging the uh lucas there oh that's good stuff eh? <laughs> <laughs>
That's good stuff. So what kind of oil is this thing getting, actually? Lucas oil, always. <laughs> hot, rod, hot, rod hot, oil. Rod oil. hot rod oil, yeah. Uh-oh, Ashley, rotary chainers. No! <laughs> well, he dropped one. <laughs> oh, the carburetor that just keeps on giving problems. So, uh, I'm ready to put it back together. I'm just going to clean everything. Well, I've been cleaning, and I'm going to hammer it up. But all these valves should go up and down. And there should be some sort of oil coming out of this guy. Well, if I we really hope pump. we see oil pressure. That's at if this we, point yeah. kind of important. Well, we, don't, we won't know if we have pressure, but we may. We should have some, some sort of volume. <laughs> okay, you run that, I'll crank her over. Well, we gotta see. Okay, hit it. She's just pumping out of there, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 That's not a good sign. There you go. Oh, oh down the intake. Right down okay. the intake. That's okay. That's okay. That's Pretty all right. I'm ex that's a relief. It is a relief. That was getting pretty long there. <laughs> that was getting to be a long wait. Did you pour all this in here? Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Okay. Got oil pressure. We well, have well, some sort got, of something. It's got it oil, oil flow. It's got oil movement. Well, fire the heads on it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Norton machine shop. Machine shop. Well, it worked on the block, so it's going to work on the heads. Now you watch, Tom will be back, you'll be wanting to see it run. Oh yeah. It's working pretty good actually. Hey, how's it going? Oh, that's, uh, you get the performance job, eh? Yeah. We're not going to get too fancy here. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty crusty though, eh? It's not, uh, it's not ideal. No. <laughs> okay, run it. Run it. Run it. Can't do it. We gotta, you know, we gotta get it. it. We gotta clean. give it a little clean. It's gonna look good. It's gotta look good. It's going to be a fine carburetor, I have no doubt. Still got a little work to do though. It's hard to believe it's going to run. Yeah, it's going to run. It's going to run and it's going to run well. I agree. <laughs> Poor old thing. Yeah. Poor old thing is right. <clears throat> Just forcing it to live. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's good, eh? Yeah. It's excellent. You guys know what time it is? It's time for Dean's Greasy Flips. Hey guys, welcome to an episode of Dean's Greasy Flips. It's a summer spectacular. What a great day. I've got a few cars to show you, you might be interested in. Maybe we should have a look and see what I got for inventory. Let's check it out.
All right, starting up, first of all, I've got a rare 59 Canadian car. It's a 59 Meteor. This is a real summer scorcher. As you can see, she's been scorched a little bit too much on Saskatchewan fields where they had a grass fire. I am gonna pass on the savings to you because I think this would be a good car for you and your family. I think it's a Niagara, I'm not sure. Anyway, we call her Bernie because she had some burns. But look at this, you can't go wrong. Decent solid-ish body. A few minor blemishes in the glass. And an engine that I've kind of started to rebuild myself, but I didn't get too far. Anyway, she's a good old yellow sunburnt meteor. I'm telling you, this car, you're going to be the envy of all your friends with this old meteor. Take it to cruise night in a couple years. There's lots of parts, I got extras. If you need something, don't hesitate to ask me because I've got lots of stuff with these old cars. I've got a lot of them. But anyways, with a little bit of hard work and dedication, you yourself could be driving the 59 Meteor. If you want to check it out, we can. What's yeah. under the bonnet of this fine automobile, so, Mr. Dean? Yeah, so I've already started working on the engine a little bit oh, here. Oh yeah, so you got her just about done Just there. about done, so yeah. But 223 six cylinder, three on the tree, stuck, 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 stuck. It is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> so when you say work on it, you mean you found out it was stuck? Yeah. And that's kind of where pulled the plugs and gave up. You pulled know the how. Plugs it. <laughs> and then pulled the plug on the whole job. <laughs> pulled the plug on the. Oh, Bernie here came from Saskatchewan. It's not too too bad. It's not I'd, too too badly burnt. It's not too too well. That. Yeah, that's the problem, eh? And you know, there's parts galore here, guys. I, mean, I got three on the tree. Uh, the extra door panels, my friend. That was nice of him. There's a little bit of fire damage, and it'll buff out, man. Like, you know, it's good. I got a new trunk that that's not rotten on it. I got tons of parts in the trunk, like oodles of swap meat stuff that I went and got for you guys. And that's actually true. This would be a good project for you and your family. It's not ready to go yet. I mean, it won't drive out of here, but. <laughs> but who doesn't want a 59 Meteor? All right, summer spectacular. We got G body time. 81 Buick Regal Limited 3.8. It is complete except for the interior, most of the interior. It's a 3.8 V6, good gas mileage. She was painted with a brush. I've been Toilet kind of brush? To... Moonroof car. Frame's good, body's good, cutlass rims, G body time. As a kid growing up, I like G bodies, so I bought it for a really good deal, and I'm passing on it to you for even less of a good deal. I mean, more of a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> I need it gone. And for 800 bucks, you could take this thing home. You can make a Grand National clone. You could do whatever you want to do, man. You'd be the envy of all your friends. It's got the wing on the back. It's an 81 Regal. The inside is painted with a brush. Anyway, it's painted. And there's no keys. But it does roll. It's got the engine. It's got the tranny. It's got most of the parts in the trunk. It's a cool G-Body Buick Regal 1981. I don't even know why I bought this thing, actually. I do. Even by the standards of Flip Town, this is a piece of shit. Of course. Yeah, so she's got her mill and a tranny. All there. It's all complete, hey guys? Cobwebs come with it. So does all the mouse nest. You know, I spent here last night for hours scraping paint off it, trying to make it back to its original paint for you. And that took hours. You what? You actually did that? Yeah. This is my life. It's not worth a dime. Check out the interior. There's no interior. Any so. garden looks this good on the outside. Oh, oh my <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, come on. What? I know. Kids, don't do math. This, I, I think we finally found the first car that is not worthy of being a flip down. <laughs> the Liberty Golem. This is a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> this thing, whoever did this to this car should never be allowed to own another car. Oh, it's just This shot. is garbage. What a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Holy. Okay. Yeah. It's, anyway, uh, anyway, I bet you'll sell it. Yeah, you'll yeah. get top dollar oh, for yeah, this I'll puppy. Flip, some, whatever, yeah, flip I know you'll flip. That's yeah. the sad thing. Yeah. That's an appalling bucket of garbage. It is, man. Wow, that's yeah. summer special garbage town. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. <laughs>
The I cannot believe the interior is well, actually I, worse than the outside. That's why yesterday I was scotch bright in the heck. Why? I don't Your know. I had well, I had greasy flips coming today. I had to make oh, it look better, but better. I gave up. Gave up after the quarter panel. Well, I fucking hope so. Mm -hmm. This is a new low for Flip Town, just so you know. This is a real, yeah, this is real. not a high point in the Flip Town No, career. this is uh, not a high point at all. It's for sale, 800 bucks, take it away. 800 bucks. Sure, man, I'm not, you know, I kind of. Usually, kinda... I'll, I'll write about here, I would usually say, well, that's a good deal, Dean. But. But not today. Just give me 500 bucks and just get it out of here. It's gotta go. There. 500 bucks. 500 bucks. Get this Eagle. toilet out of here. This Get is it. embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> New low for flip down. This is just the way it is. This is some American machinery. This is a 77 Dove Gray Marquee with a Dove Gray interior. Triple Dove. Triple and Dove? <laughs> <laughs> this car was heading to the baler for real. Couldn't get it running. I haven't even bothered to, so but I'm sure it will, you know, guys. Uh, with a little help, you know, <laughs> thumbs up. Woo! It's got a few issues, but being, you know, 45 years old, I thought, you know, I should save it. And to you or the car? It was sitting in a field, and it was going to the junkyard, and I said no. I said no way. That ain't happening on my watch. So I, <laughs> I had it brought here, but 460, I think. Uh, you know, glass, oh, broken, okay, whatever. Let's get serious here. You wanna check it out? Let's check it out. Open the hood, monsieur. There's a little bit of structural damage in the hood. I'm gonna supply you with a new hood. I got a new hood at home, actually, so I'm gonna get you another hood. There's no rad, I don't know what happened to that, but there's a shroud. It's a 460. It? Ford's finest automobiles. I think. <laughs> Clip of headlights, that's cool, hey, eh? woo! Oh yeah? Yeah, neat, eh? Like, woo, that's kind of, I mean, you are something. Yeah, those are something. Yeah. Thing. You put the lids down, you can't see that they're broken. Right, no radio for some reason. That's some weird blower oh, motor. This is, smells great in here. It smells like home. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh. yeah, cool. Keys are there, good. I'm like, whoa, yeah, I better get it, yeah. Dude, you gotta like. Cause something's wrong with me. You know, uh, this car new would have been nice. <laughs> uh, you think you could say that about a lot of cars? <laughs> Marquee. Oh, oh man, score! Look at this. Oh, I got tons of stuff here. Woohoo! Oh, no way! Oh, I got full turbines. Oh, man, I didn't even open the trunk yet. I just, this is a surprise. Oh, cool. Super convincing fake wood in these. Derby-tastic, <laughs> man. Derby-tastic. Well, look at, got some Lincoln turbines in the trunk. That's kind oh, of, yeah. that's a good score, I guess, for buying the car. Well, those are worth $10 each yeah. just for the weight. Right? Aluminum. There's the air cleaner. There's another spare oh, horn ring. Oh, the I'm same guy that painted your oh, Buick yeah. interior painted these. <laughs> that's terrifying. Yeah, man. Well, it's. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why I had it brought from Calgary to here, no, but dude, that's. It's, you know why? Because you didn't ask me. Yeah, Marquis. So, uh, Marquis. Sorry, you probably said what year is this? Oh, it's a '77 Marquis. Same year. Same year as me, man. Mm -hmm. I should keep it, eh? No. No. God no. 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 I have big dreams of fixing one of these why? cars up. Why? Why? Because you do too many drugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give me the hardcore summer savings. Get this piece of shit out of my yard. Price. Engine turns over. You can get it running. Needs a rad. This is I've never done this before, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm gonna let it go for seven eighty nine right now. Cash, no GSC, no PSC, no government crap. You're gonna just pay that money and you're gonna get yourself a sweet marquee. Oh, it's like all the a four turbines. Seven eighty nine. It's probably worth the, that much in crush value. Probably seven eight nine Flip and the, the mar day. and the Dove Gray Marquise is Triple yours. Dove. And I can Marquise this car to buy. <laughs> I just want to sit in my chair and yeah, I, I'm glad you guys come by though. And thank you. I really appreciate you guys. But and the funny thing is, I will say Dean's Greasy Flips has actually sold uh, about three or four cars uh, with Cold War Motors channel, and that is awesome. So wow. Yeah. So that is yeah, actually watch it's out a, Peter Pothington. You've only been doing this for like seven years, and you've sold three cars already. So three cars. Wow. Actually, four. Four cars four. with the oh, channel. Yeah, with the people buying them from the channel. Yeah. Wow. So that's cool. That's impressive. Yeah. So. So that's almost as impressive as the triple dove. Triple 77. dove gray 77 Marquis.
Yeah. Thanks so much for your time and for showing us around. Oh, you're welcome. Summer blowout madness. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I'm glad you guys stopped by. Well, <clears throat> thanks guys for tuning in to Dean's Greasy Flips. And I had a lot of fun today. I'm glad to show you some of the cars that I had for sale. And uh, maybe one of you guys will be interested. I don't know. I'm usually here from like uh, 4 to 5 o'clock p.m. Dean Summer Spectacular has been great. I've been up all day. I gotta go for a nap. I'm tired. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Take care. Dean's Greasy Flips, East Clairview, 153rd, take the 17th Street exit, and you're there. are cold from holding all these cold beers all the time. I sure wish I had a cozy to take care of that. Oh wait! Huh! Dean's Greasy Flips Beer Cozies. Hey, you could still get yours now at coldwarmotors.com type deal. The store that we have going on. You guys aren't going to go wrong. These things, they, they, they keep your beer cold and they keep your hands warm and they keep your beer warm. And <laughs> Actually, I don't mind warm beer. It's fine. I'll drink any beer. Anyway, limited time. We only have so much in stock. Get them now. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. We'll talk soon. See ya. It's a fantastic day, and we're back on Team Studebaker today. Justin's on Team Studebaker, yeah, and Team, team Studebaker's Florida. job is to finish the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a communal team yeah, effort. That's right. Race. Yeah. Team captain. Uh, what the, what do you got to plan for today for this thing? Well, heads are uh, heads reassembled are and yeah. cleaned up and ready to go. So we're going to yank that auto tranny out of there, toss it in the ditch. Yeah. And stick the three-speed manual in there. Yeah, I think that's a better race. Can't have a slush box and no, let the Vicky a pull ahead. Box. Serious race cars. Run manual. Stick shift, right? Right. The other thing is that any car that had an engine this horse holds, how do you think that transmission is? Just as bad. It's probably bad. So Looking at it from here, it looks pretty arsehole. Looks arsehole yeah. from here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to lay under there. Okay, well, you just shout, I'm going to finish the carburetor, and then I'm at your disposal. Okay. Uh, we might fire the tractor up at some point. Or maybe when Tom gets here, moves we move around. that Studebaker out. Yeah. And then we'll move this table and put that Studebaker where that one is. Yeah. Spin that other one around, and we can start ripping the column and pedals out of it. And... Uh, is it running? Oh fuck, Jesus, here we go. Right. There he is there right there. Is it running? Nope. What? Nothing's running. It was supposed to run last night. We were just saying if Tom gets here, we're gonna maybe move some cars around, so <laughs> I guess, we're I guess we're moving cars. So what are you gonna move around? I wanna get the blue 57 out so we can take the pedals and uh, clutch and shit. But that's spot. all stuff that's easier with more than one person. Let's so do it. Justin's working there. I got yeah. Frankers in the house while you're working, so yeah.
So we're going to hit? Yeah, yeah. We're going to now. Because he needs to cut. Yeah, well, we can only do so much. Okay, now you, can, now you can okay. cut her hard. Okay. You gonna hit the hole? No, nope. we're gonna have to come ahead. Okay, stop now then. Okay. Yeah, it goes down the hill. Okay. Oh! Okay, that's as far as you can go. We hit the old plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be gonna stop over here. The back end is a little bit out, but you've got to put power steering in this thing. <laughs> Miles, where's the chain? Right here. champion gonna donate the column uh, shift steering column and the uh, pedal set for the 58 or at least we'll see you might we might be able to just take the clutch set and leave the other pedals I don't know so anyway we have to get underneath it we might have to get underneath just to have a look who's gonna do that well probably yes. me yeah. I think so Get her licked, bud? Yeah, partially. Anyways, yeah. I saw you guys moving cars and shoving stuff, so I thought, well, a good time as any for a break. Okay, stick shift conversion time. <laughs> what is all this? It looks pretty messy under oh, here, right? Oh, okay. The master looks the same, yeah. So you take whatever clutch linkage you find there, and it should bolt right to this master. And since we're not concerned with brakes, really, I'll uh, start digging out the shifter linkage here. Okay. We got that hammered out. Okay. There's your stick shift steering column and the shaft that goes through. That goes through the master cylinder. Yeah. So that's uh, good. It's in good shape. What else did we take off of there? Here's our pedal. Or part of it. Where's the actual pedal? Here it looks the like it kind of goes just on bolt something right like on. that. Yeah, that's cool. And you got a little pedal. This is what I like right here. You just welded her up yeah. solid, eh? Yeah. No bolt or anything, no clamp, no yeah, nothing. Just welded up. On. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Couple shifter arms, shifter arms over here. Shifter linkage there, complete with some adjustment there. Pedal. Pedal return spring. Back. Yes. Sure. Okay. And uh, so that. There you go, there's your Studebaker uh, three-speed conversion kit. Yeah. Right? Is that really yeah. it? These two nuts. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, think I don't remember. I think that's everything. Everything else is tools. Well, I should fuck off anyways, buddy. You gotta go, buddy? Yeah. Thanks so much. You it's looking so much better. Where are you parked? Oh, just around the back there. Okay. Look at that. going to be like downtown in here. Okay. So 
wait well. there, you can hump out and <laughs> Let's take it and put it sideways behind the car. Something came in the mail, and it looks like it's from North Carolina. Okay, I have here. a feeling somebody's having a go at us here. Yeah, so, is it like a... <laughs> any guesses? Is it a repair manual? <laughs> How to build your baker? I think so. Something. Well, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course. Yeah, I guess we had that coming, eh? Why I oughta... <laughs> I think somebody's giving us a hard time. Yeah, maybe we can learn a thing or two out of yeah. that. Hey, this is handy. I like the big bold print. Yeah. Reading for dummies. All capital letters, too. And bold when it's important. Fuel pump. Mechanical fuel pump. Look. What are those? Recommended <laughs> I got a bunch of these things and I just had no idea. Fly <laughs> Earths. Look, needle nose, that's hilarious. They're called needle nose. That's Man, funny. this is gonna be so handy. That's funny. Look yeah. at how many tools are over there. We don't even... Yeah, but these pliers, nobody uses that shit anymore. Well, Not... they're common. Oh, the common plier. Common. I see. The ball peen. Hey, we were using one of those today. Yeah, beating the hell out nice. of something. Nice. Ooh, socket sets. Yeah. They come in sets? Holy cow. That's why he's so wise. He must oh. have read this already. This is used. Well, thanks so much, buddy. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a, that's a I big think, dig. I think that somebody's busting our balls. Four ninety five. But well, you said four ninety five on this for us. Not to mention the postage. Bitch of the postage was twenty three dollars. <laughs> and you know he was Man. laughing while he paid oh, it too. He's funny. just smiling inside. Man. He knows if he sent us twenty three dollars we'd just buy beer and dope with it, so Well he's gonna have to do time trials with his to see if he can keep up to us, right? Uh yeah, except that he has the fast model. Yeah, yeah, we're not he's going to try running it on water, so we'll see how well he does. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> oh, let's find steam engines steam for dummies. Stuff, yeah. right? <laughs> well, he gave me his address, plus it's on there, so there's no hiding. Yeah. You're going to get it. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the show this week. Uh, we always do have a great time putting it together, and it's a, it's a real treat to, uh, to know that anybody would watch it. Very special thanks to everybody who ordered a Model T t-shirt uh, very kind of you I just wanted to let everybody know that they all the orders have been taken and they are being printed right now and of course we do print them to order it just doesn't work any other way we have to keep that whole operation very small and very tight I will definitely keep everybody posted uh, as they start getting mailed out we hope that they'll be printed in the next uh, seven to ten days and then they will immediately be shipping after that so thanks again so much we had a lot of fun putting that shirt together and I'm very proud of it and can't wait to get my own. Uh, I have to order them like everybody else. I know some people have tried to uh, send me personally money or order shirts in the comment section. It just can't work that way. They have to, in order for this to work, they have to get shipped directly from the printer. And uh, so uh, again, we very much appreciate uh, everybody that ordered one. 
thanks also to the patrons of the show. You guys make it all possible. Um, you know, we just literally couldn't do it without you guys, and uh, it means so much to me that uh, anybody would, uh, you know, that whatever we're up to here would mean enough to, to that small number of people that they would uh, open their wallets to keep it on the air. So thank you guys. The show is for you, of course. Have a great week. We'll see you on Thursday. I've got to get back to editing. Big thumbs up to Justin and the Bobcat. Look at this. We've got actually something that looks almost like a parking lot. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun filling this up. And, uh, and I hope to put a, a little bit of a hoist in there. And the giant pit of mud and garbage is fixed. Unbelievable. Anyway, having a lot of fun with the uh, little, uh, little parking shed project that's uh, going on three, four years now. But I think it'll be worth it. I'm having a lot of fun. This is a regular ah, Same old shit.
Bis hier.